Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Duck Dodgers on the Amstrad CPC. Now, this is supposed to be like Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom, but this is a typing game. Um, come out in 1985 on a magazine or something like that. Right, push a key. Right, Duck Dodgers, so we're going to have... Uh, Instructions or start which joystick control we can use cursor keys if you want right. Ooh. Now as I said this was programmed in basic so you ain't going to expect um, A quality game here But for a typing Right, uh, yeah. So you basically got to expect this is a typing, basically. So you're not going to expect. Oh, I'm fucking repeating myself again now. <laughs> right, so the graphics look alright. When it goes left and right, he's a bit uh, clunky on the controls here. It's, a, it's very clunky. Sometimes the controls don't even respond right then. You can't go up or down, you can only go left and right. And there's, I don't think there's anything you can fly through. Oh, bloody. <laughs> and it crashes for good measure. Right, okay. Hang on. Actually, I won't do that now. Let's go, let's type in run. Push any key. Right, we'll push start. Planet surface. Perhaps there's a, there is other levels. It just says planet surface to start with. But the question is, can we get off the level? See, when the, those green things come towards you, it, or come behind you, it does freeze the controls. See, I couldn't move there. Oh, see, I had no chance there. What chance did I have there? I couldn't even shoot it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's going to be frustrating. So every time... You're trying to run it. Every, when you have your three lives, it crashes. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to. What was I supposed to do there then? I couldn't even move. I think you're just better off just avoiding everything. Uh, I say that. Yeah, it's not exactly playable, is it? Right. Yeah, let's have a look at the listing. How many lines, I wonder? Now, there's quite a lot of code here, which you expect. Yeah, I can't say I really enjoyed that, because it is a little bit unfair. Because once the ship gets in front of you and goes behind you, you cannot move. You cannot move. When it starts to come towards you, you cannot move. It freezes the controls for some reason. Um, for a typing game, there's a lot. Of, well, there's a lot of code there. A lot of code for what it is. So, how many lines is there going to be? Should we just should we just let the video run out until it comes to the end of the code? Mind you, there's probably a looks like there's a lot more code than what it really is, because it is in mode zero. So, here we go. Oops. Now, I don't know much about coding. I've done, I have typed in some basic stuff back in the day, but, yeah, it's quite, there's a lot of listing here. Yeah, I mean the game itself. 
it's a typing game, so I really got to be more lenient for what it is. Oh, look, RIP, oh, I didn't see that bit because the fucking thing crashed. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, how much more code is there to go through? I mean, I've, I've probably, this video is just probably going to spend more of the code, looking at the code and anything. Uh, well, if you want to type it in, go ahead. You can download it, which I did. This is a um, a disk image. Um, yeah. yeah, it's not very good, I'm afraid. Anyway, graphics, I suppose they're all right for typing, but yeah, it's not very good to play. Not very fun at all. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.